I feed left arm over the wicket, try and take the ball away, and we'll just see how he gets on, really. Same as if you're bowling, shiny side of the ball's on, on this side to take it away. And then the only thing that I do, personally, is just turn it slightly in my hand, just to make sure when it comes out, I'm encouraging that movement. Same as you would as a bowler, making sure your wrist's on that side of the ball. But if you wanted to alter that, and not let the batter see which way you're swinging it, you could easily just cover it yeah, up and it like that. as a bowler would do, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, Harry, did you pick up any cues with that in-swinger? Yeah, ever so slightly, just saw you, your wrist change, which is quite realistic to a bowler. If a bowler was bowling an in-swinger, who was bowling out-swings before, you'd probably get this, a similar sort of cue. What's the difference when he changes from the away-swinger to the in-swinger? when it's compared to the bowling machine? Compared to a bowling machine, if someone just fired one in away, so I'd, I would have no, no physical cue at all. So we'll change the angle now, so we'll come right arm over to the left-hander, just see how that comes out. So I'd ideally be looking to opposite of the left armour really, shiny side on the right-hand side, trying to bring the ball back in, sort of your classic opening bowler to the left-hander. Harry, so do you find it different, maybe easier with Tom running in rather than the way I walk in? I wouldn't say easier, I'd say maybe slightly more realistic to especially the pace he's bowling. Because that pace he's bowling, if a bowler's bowling it, you'd expect them to be running in and jumping and bounding the similar way he is. Makes it a bit easier for like your timings. Your yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think so.